Kevin Rain here playing Farming Simulator 19. We're just doing a little uh, trucking here. We appear to be out in the middle of nowhere. Not entirely sure where that is, but uh, yeah, this looks to be the middle of nowhere. Currently hauling our 9Rs up to our uh, site here up ahead, I guess. So, well, wait, can't see it yet. Can't see it yet. So, yes, like I said, we appear to be out in the middle of nowhere. What shall, uh, where is nowhere, you might ask? Nowhere. Exactly. Middle of nowhere. Nowhere, Kansas. Yes, uh, several of you guessed it here in the uh, comments here from last episode. I won the largest map I have ever played on. Well, sort of. I have played on some other 16X maps, but I've uh, never done an official series on them, everyone. So, everyone, this will be by far the largest map I've ever done, like a single player series on. Uh, in fact, for those of you who watch the channel for a while, you always know I kind of say like 16X maps. They're just too big. Ridiculous. <laughs> just too big. Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, everyone, we are playing on the 16X map. Nowhere. Middle of Kansas. Nowhere, Kansas. Be uh, Pacific, so nowhere, Kansas here. We got our uh, 9RXs over here already. Just finished hauling the 9Rs over here. So I shut that off. Turn the blinking flashers off. Surprised the uh, tractors actually stayed on here. They seem to have a sliding problem. I uh, didn't really notice that so much with the 9RXs. Oh, I guess the 9RX is starting to fall off here, isn't it? But yes, the 9Rs are really bad about uh, trying to fall off there. So let's uh, see if we get those off here a minute. Back of the trailers folded down. Uh, one thing I'm noticing with this here, by the way, this uh, truck I'm using, this truck and trailer came from Bull, by the way. Uh, late Night with Bull, if you know who he is. That's where both the uh, truck and trailer came from. He sent me these a while back here. Wasn't really sure what to do with them, and then I had that, oh, I know what I can do with these. We'll use it for the end of the uh, series here. So, Bull, if you're wondering why you haven't seen these track or these uh, trucks here yet, uh, this is why I've been saving them for the end of the Chippewa County series and the beginning of the Nowhere, Kansas series. So, I guess this is kind of a home base here, I guess. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful shack we have over here. Beautiful shack. I uh, got our... Ford Bronco over here already with a plow on it. We are running with the Seasons mod. I guess we better go over all that stuff here, everyone. Uh, so, yes, Nowhere, Kansas, 16X map. Uh, running with the Seasons mod. I'm not sure that's entirely the best of uh, decisions here on this map. We'll see once here. I'm not sure the Seasons mod is going to stay or not. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll see. We'll see. So, uh, for those of you who have not seen this map before, it's literally everyone... Uh, okay, yes, we're saving content. It's literally a 16x map that has literally almost nothing on it. And it has a sell point, it has a shop, has a sell point. No, it's got animals. Yeah, that, that's it. Buy point, sell point, that's it. And this is considered a home here. I guess I don't know if you can sleep here or not. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. I did not know that. Just figure that out now. So, yes, uh, where shall we start here, everyone? Where shall we start? That's a good question. Uh, we do own these uh, two fields here. Oh, I guess we own that too. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, we own these uh, two fields here. Land is actually surprisingly not very expensive on here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and buy this too because I figured this is where we're going to be putting up shop here. Uh, being that it's a 16X map, everyone, we're probably going to have some equipment on here. I'm going to try to keep stuff spread out a little bit here because, as you know, with Farming Simulator, once you start putting equipment close together, it, uh, it starts getting to be kind of laggy. So, uh, so far we're doing pretty good. Solid 60. I'm liking that. That's pretty good for a 16X map, if you ask me. We'll see once what that frame rate starts doing, everyone, once we start adding a little bit more equipment. Also, if you watched the end of last episode, everyone, well, hopefully you understand now why I'm keeping the 9Rs and the 9RXs and uh, the big tractors. Uh, as I uh, mentioned here last, was it last episode... Uh, we're keeping those tractors and bringing all our money with us. So I got $25 million. Uh, there's already 800000 there, so I just left the 800000 But we got $25,800,000. Hopefully you understand why we want that money here now. So that is why. Now let's see what's did I? I think I created a course play course here for this, didn't I? Oh, that's right. This truck does not work with course play, does it? Right. Okay, never mind. I guess we're going to be driving back to the shop. Uh, so, yes, unfortunately, this truck here, I found out, does not work with Follow Me, nor does it work with Course Play. So, with that in mind, everyone, I'm probably not going to be using this truck a whole lot. In fact, uh, to be honest, this is probably the only time you're going to see this truck, unless we can fix Course Play's problem. And also, it doesn't actually uh, have the trailer attached to it properly for some reason. I don't know if I got something wrong with the configuration here or what. But if you notice, the uh, rear of the trailer, actually, the rear tires are not even on the ground here. Uh, because the trailer hitch is too low. 
or that just the trailers I, I don't know take your pick as to what's wrong something's not right either with the truck or the trailer here the truck is either too low or the trailer's too high or some combination of both I will have to say it's a pretty cool looking uh, truck though got the uh, John Deere uh, skin on it I think I don't know if that's an addition by Bull I'm not entirely sure uh, if he did anything to this truck here or not, but uh, yeah, kind of a cool looking truck here. A bunch of different options with it. And this, of course, is considered a heavy haul truck. I don't know if the hitch on the front actually works or not. That'd be kind of cool if it did. So anyway, we're heading back to the shop here. Uh, hopefully you're kind of getting a scale of the uh, size of this map here with us just driving to the shop. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot of driving back and forth, or we're going to try to avoid it anyway, but yes. This, everyone, is a big map. If you've never played on a 16X map before, everyone, you haven't seen a big map in Farming Simulator until you have. Uh, of course, I've played on many 4X maps, but uh, like I said, this will be my first like official play on a 16X map. Uh, we did do some messing around, for those who remember back in. I don't know if we did it in Farming Simulator 17 or not. I think Farming Simulator 15. Uh, we did some messing around on the Corn Belt map. That was... Uh, 16x map as well that was about the uh, craziest we got back then uh, i do have some more equipment over here that needs to be hauled up to the farm here as well uh we got our 9r t's as well as our 8r's and 8r t's here as well gotta haul those back up to the farm here at some point i don't know if we'll do that here this episode I'll leave this uh yeah actually you know what this is kind of a shop here maybe i better not leave it parked there we'll just leave this park back here that should be out of the way right Looks good to me. So, yeah, this is the uh, shop here. Uh, we also have our other Peterbilt. This also was sent to me by Bull as well, I do believe, our Peterbilt truck. And this is just the, actually the in-game trailer here. Um, I think I had, yeah, I think I had the same prom with that trailer on this truck as I did. So, uh, so I didn't uh, put that on there. I just got the in-game one. And then we got a PJ trailer here as well. You can fit uh, two 8Rs on a PJ trailer. Yeah, it might be squatting just a little bit. Just a little bit. I nah, don't worry, it's a Ford. It can pull it. It can handle it. Unlike the Chevy that's over there. Um, I forget why, everyone. I did buy this uh, Chevy. It's a Chevy 4500. I figured I was going to put this on the uh, PJ trailer there. I don't remember why. There was something. Like, Was it the hitch was too high, maybe? I think maybe the hitch was too high. There was something. I, I had to take it back off of it, and I got the Ford instead. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see once maybe if I can find a trailer that'll work better with this truck we'll give it a try i did have another trailer i had purchased as well everyone i was going to use that with that truck uh that trailer was crashing the game uh which yeah leads into another mod we could we could talk about mod <clears throat> authors again but we'll refrain from doing so uh anyway we're gonna need some more equipment here everyone so yes let's uh let's just head back to the uh kind of the farm yard here for now uh we're gonna need a farm yard we're gonna need um chops we're gonna need placeables Speaking of which, uh, for placeables here, I guess you folks can help me out here a little bit. Let's look what we got for some silos. I'm thinking I want 16 next map. We need the most massive silo we could potentially find. So I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, 16 next map. We need a massive, and I do mean massive silo. So if anyone knows of a massive silo, that one just looks way too puny. Way too puny for this map. What else we got? Uh, that's about it, isn't it? Oh, TMR. I do want to get... Oh, this doesn't even show up. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that one right there? Just went past it. What was that one here? Silo big. That's big? Oh, come on now. That's... That doesn't even take up that. Let's see. Busters. I know Busters, I think, has one here as well. Uh, grain system. Elevator. That's a cell point. We might uh, we might put that down. Oh, that's, uh, that's getting a little bigger. That's getting a little bigger. This one, I think, is actually the storage, right? 15 million. Yeah, we, we need one about four times the size, I think, right? I think that's what we need, if you ask me. So, yeah, if anyone knows of any good grain storage, let me know. We're probably going to be needing that. Debating where we're going to set up shop here as well. But like I said, I want to keep stuff spread out. Uh, as I mentioned, I was kind of thinking I'd like to do some cows. Maybe try to get in some beef cows on this map. Uh, so what I was thinking, maybe we could do like beef cows like over here. Maybe our farmyard somewhere here. Maybe some silage and operations over here. Again, I want to just want to keep stuff spread out a little bit. Because the intentions are, uh, if uh, if we can, we're probably going to break the game. 
because we're going to be using a lot of course play. That's going to be the plan here, everyone. Uh, if you haven't seen the size of the fields, well, they don't look that big from this screen, do they? No, in fact, they look quite normal. Yeah, just go ahead and drive across one here, everyone. Drive across one and uh, see what's what it looks like. So speaking of driving across, what do these fields need? They probably need a little of everything, right? Um, is the map even? Oh, there we go. We're going to have to wait for the map to update. Oh, boy. This is going to be great, everyone. This is going to be great. Both fields need to be plowed. Please wait. They probably need lime. Yep, they need lime and I'm sure fertilizer. Please wait. Yep, there we go. Okay. They 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 need everything. They need everything. So, with that in mind, everyone, let's uh, maybe start with that, shall we? Uh, we're just uh, straight to the Buster's equipment, everyone. That's the only uh, fertilizer I spreader I would uh, recommend for large fields. John Deere R4045. Um, yeah, base configuration I think will work right I don't think we need GPS on it uh, don't expect to see me doing a whole lot of field work here one the fields are big big uh, let's see let's buy a million dollars worth how's that sound that sounds pretty good to me for starters I'm a million dollars worth of fertilizer spreaders and then we need tanks for them put the extension on that is that the big extension yes maximum extension please Four of those as well. We can get uh, two of these on a truck. Ooh, you know what? Their wheelbase might be a little too wide. I bet ya. Let's uh, see what's here. Because, oh boy, I'm going to have to... I got to drive each one of these back here. I want... <laughs> oh, this is going to take me a day just to drive these back. That's the problem of the 16X map. There is going to be... Have I mentioned it before? A lot of driving. What are the chances this will fit on this trailer? I'm thinking not. Uh, yeah, I don't think we even want to try it. <laughs> Do we have one? Uh, I don't think we even want to try it. Uh, kind of unfortunate, because the other trailer I had picked out here, everyone, was actually, uh, much, much wider, if I remember correctly. Actually, let's see if, do I have it? I think I have it in the shop here yet. I don't think I deleted it out yet. Let's see. Oh, there is this one. This one would probably be wide enough for a sprayer. We can only get one on it, though. That's kind of pointless. Uh, oh, yeah, this one here. This one here. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it in the picture there, but it has the great big wide fold-outs on it. So that uh, trailer can get really wide. Unfortunately, everyone, um, it crashes the game. Probably some error messages here. Um, I don't really see a whole lot. Uh, let's see. Offers two objects, but one component is loaded. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but uh, that might be the problem. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Fontaine Pack here. I don't think it has any wider trailers. Uh, the dowel, that's the one we currently have, just the John Deere version. EJ. Yeah, I don't really have, unfortunately, any uh, trailers I think that'll haul these. Haul these. So, okay, we got a solution for that, though. Let's see what's here. Shop to the dump house. That's what I'm calling the trailer. <laughs> at the little dump trailer. Maybe I should have called the dump trailer. First waypoint. Stop at the last. Off you go. Of course, I can get it over there. Oh, that's something else we're going to need here as well. We're going to need fertilizer fill and uh, seed and, oh, my goodness. Yep, the list goes on and on and on. Actually, let me, uh, we're going to start with this end here, I guess. What happens when you start a new map, right? You need to figure out everything you need. So that'll probably be what we'll be doing here for the next uh, couple episodes, figuring out what we need. Hopefully getting some uh, field work done. Shop to dump house. Yes, please. That's the work first. And stop at the last. Uh, I think if you don't have course play stopping at the last one, course play will just uh, come back around and come all the way back to the shop here. Which, uh, we don't we don't need that. Okay, one more after this here yet. Oh, let's see what's here. Load up the course. First stop, go. And then the last one here. Uh, debating as well, everyone, if we should maybe get into a little bit of uh, fertilizer and seed production. Um, actually, you know, I, I think everyone, I kind of know the answer on that. We're probably not going to. Uh, we got two huge fields on here. 
We need like a small field so we can plant some smaller amounts of crops. <laughs> you know, we don't want one of those fields with potatoes on it. Uh, just no. Nope. 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 So before anyone even suggests it, no. Uh, first, activate drive course. Uh, on the other hand, if anyone else would like to try it themselves, uh, if you would like to uh, download this map, uh, plant potatoes on one of those fields, have at it, let me know how it goes. Uh, let me know, you know, in a couple years once you're done with those fields on the harvesting of the potatoes. Just, you know, let me know how that uh, goes for you. Okay, let's go back to the house here. Uh, there's our 4045s heading over this way. I wonder how long it's going to take uh, a pair. Well, actually, no, that's not a pair. That's four. Quadrant. Is that what it is? A quadrant of our 4045s to fertilize one of these fields. They're both about the same size. I don't think there's much difference. So, oh, anyway. I figured over here somewhere we're probably going to put down some sort of shops. So, shall we do that here a minute? Buster's Placeables. What is the uh, freaking biggest shed we can get our hands on here? Yeah, that looks kind of big. That looks kind of big. Where's the other one here? There's one more. That's the one we... Oh, that one actually looks really big, doesn't it? That one looks like it's probably pretty big. Let's maybe go with that. Sure, looks good to me. Three of them. Yep, got them lined up. Okay, now we're going to need... What are we going to need here? We need fillable. I think that's under miscellaneous. Fertilizer stations, right? Oh, I went past them, did I? Yep, okay. Uh, lime seed. We need... Let's start with some fertilizer here. Maybe right out alongside the road. That'd probably be pretty good. We'll probably be putting multiple points of these down, I'm thinking. We'll see once... Uh, I'm debating everyone if we want to expand out the map or not. I'm thinking for starters, we'll just start with these two fields here, see once how it goes, and uh, kind of probably go from there. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards here. We'll see once here. Do a little quick terraforming. We're probably going to want to keep terraforming to the minimum, I'm thinking, just being a 16x map. I guess we'll see once. I'm not sure. Is that the one? That one will work. Yep, I guess that's the one. Okay. Kind of giving us like a concrete look here. Actually, uh, is it C? Yeah, let's go to square mode here. I'll maybe do a little bit more of this here off screen, but let's just do a little quick little bit here so you can kind of see what I'm a thinking. And we'll just uh, do that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I hear an R4045 uh, pulling up. Where is it? There it is. And we'll see if we get a little uh, fertilizer action going here this episode. Uh, so four of them? Or should we get more? Uh, let's uh, be a little bit conservative with the money here, but we still need to buy some planters yet. Um, probably should get some combines. Uh, and the reason I say probably should everyone, because I do want to do some silage, so I'm debating if we want to just start with silage right away, or I guess we'll see once. Stop you. I think you can only fill one at a time at these placeables, I think. It'd be nice if you could fill multiples, but I don't think that works. Not filling. Okay. Kind of figured as much. Ah, uh, yeah. Saving content. Please wait. I wonder if the auto save actually works on this map. Uh, it didn't on the previous map here, everyone. Not sure I want to test it either, to be honest. But uh, I probably should at some point just to see what's what happens. And there's the other one in the distance here. How are we looking on frame rate? Maintaining 60. I'm probably going to be keeping somewhat of an eye on that here, everyone. Because, again, big map. Try to keep it as lag free as possible well, within reason. Within reason. You done filling? Yep. Should be able to fill another one here now. Okay, let's unload that course. We're going to go ahead and uh, create a course play course here. I figured we were going to start on this field. Let's call it, I don't know what field we want to call it here. One in front of us, not the one beside us, the one in front of us.
And I'm actually going to drive out here a little ways. Actually, maybe I should drive out quite a ways. Because if we're going to create a four course here, we're going to need 36 meters. So I should probably be a good 150 meters away from the field edge there. How does that look like 150 meters? I have no idea. I have no idea. We could drive for quite a while here before we hit the other end of the field. Yeah, this looks good. Let's call that. Okay. Field work mode. Oh, you know what? Uh, we're going to need to calculate current field edge path. Oh, boy, everyone. <laughs> Hopefully this works here. If it does, if it can't calculate, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'd have to drive it, which I guess we could potentially do. Oh, do we get it? Yes. I don't know, everyone. Let's uh, just put a field number on it, see once what it is. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Let's go to course generation here. I might have to pause the video <laughs> while this generates. We'll see once how it goes here. Uh, field one. You know something we can do, everyone, to prevent or to make it not take as long? I was going to do headlands. We might be able to get away without headlands here. We're careful. Well, yes, um... No, I better do a headland. I better do a headland. Uh, yeah, I probably should. Okay, let's do a headland. It'd be so much easier if we didn't, but... The other option is we could delete, like, a wide swath of this field here and try that. Well, let's, we'll see once how the headlands go. We'll, we'll see, it. see once. Let's do one headland. I think that'll be good enough. 36 meters, because keep in mind, everyone, 36 meters times 4. Okay, headland, uh, well, yeah, okay, generate course, and uh, I think we'll be back in a minute here, everyone. Okay, everyone, and we're uh, back here, it appears. I don't know if course play didn't quite uh, detect this uh, field properly, but uh, I'm going to try this here again, everyone, and we'll be back and see if I can get this to work. Okay, everyone, despite uh, multiple attempts here at getting uh, course play to properly uh, detect this uh, field, I have been unable to uh, do so. Something with this uh, corner of the field here, course play just does not want to uh, detect it uh, properly. Uh, so I think we're going to go with plan B here instead, and we're going to plow the field first. And I could probably just use hired workers to do that. At least that's going to be the uh, theory anyway. So let's head over to the shop here and find the most largest, most OP plow I can possibly run here. It's probably going to be the Buster's 2623, I think. Let me just check the plows here if we got anything else interesting. I don't... Oh, we got... Uh, ah, that is the most largest, most OP plow. I think that does count as a plow, right? Um, I was planning on getting that as a cultivator, though. Yes, we could get that. Hmm, we could do that. Is John Deere. Uh, let's see what's, what else do we got. The, the other option, like I said, I was probably going to Buster's uh, 26, 23, which is definitely going to be a little bit uh, narrower. Uh, Buster's 26, 23. Let's go, because I want to get that as a cultivator. So if I get a cultivator and a plow, they're both the same. That doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, yeah, well, let's go with the 26, 23. We'll go with the 26, 23. Uh, we'll take, uh, we'll take four of those. Well, technically we can get six of those, I suppose, because we got enough tractors to pull six. Um, sure, let's get, uh, let's get two more. Why not? Now, these have hitches on it, so I wonder if we can put our... Please like what we do with some tabbing around here. Lots of tabbing. Nope, 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 not. Nope, wait, not that one'll work. There we go. Okay, oh, you know what? I should have put the back hitches up when I could have had them all hooked together. Huh. I wonder. I wonder. Back to the garage. Uh, back. Yep. Yeah, back to the garage. Let's see. If I sell them right at this point, they're still the same price. Yep. Thank you. Sold. Sold. I'm not losing any money here at this point. If I just sell them this way, I could uh, reconfigure them, but it seems quicker just to sell and repurchase. Anyone ever see a plow train before? I mean, we've seen lots of uh, you know truck. Uh, grain trains, you know, that type of thing. How about a plow train? Or in this case, technically a disc. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this will work or not, but uh, we're going to give it a proper try, right? Back hitch, yes, please. That'll be three of those. That's six. 
I lost count here. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's that's six, right? Yes, I think so. Yoo hoo! Forty-five hundred. Let's see if you're up to the task. Yeah, I know it's shabby. Probably not, but oh well. We'll give it a try. Did put the Ford on it. Let's see. We're gonna need kind of an open spot to start this here, I think. Oh boy. 20 mile an hour and you can't even get up to speed with one plow? Oh boy, what are we gonna do once we get six of them on here? Well, we'll just uh, see once what happens. if these even uh, connect here. If they don't, then it's going to be uh, probably trucking one at a time. And no, I won't be trucking them one at a time. We'll get course play to uh, haul them down to the farm. Are these hitches not going to connect? It looks like that might be the, uh, well, case. Okay, uh, has a back hitch. Does the back hitch actually not have a actual hitch connection point on? Uh, I'm not real close. Am I? Let's see if we get a little closer. I think we could do a little better. I mean, it looks like it was close, but. Oh, there we go. There we go. It does. It does. <laughs> okay, got it. Let's, uh, there we go. Next one up. Okay, we'll be back here in a minute, everyone. Uh, let me get the rest of these uh, connected, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, okay, well, one eternity later, we finally got the last plow almost to be uh, hooked up here. A minute, we'll see once. I don't know if this truck is even going to pull this at this point here, but we'll uh, we'll see once here, I guess. Uh, we might have to get the Ford over here, you know, or either that an actual tractor. And these also are not the easiest to uh, back up. I don't know why, just the way the disc is or whatnot, but. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, place your bets, everyone. You think it'll pull it? Oh, 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 oh. That's, uh, that's, uh, we're sliding around a little bit. I think we got it. Yep, there we go. Six plows. Pulled, whoa, <laughs> 13 miles an hour. Okay, well, that, uh, it might take us a few minutes to get there. Oh, we should put our flashers on. There we go. Flashers are on. No, we got any beacons? I don't think there's any beacons on this. Nah. Truck just, we just got flashers. Okay. 12 miles an hour. Woohoo. Okay. Well, anyway, on that note, everyone, I think with that, that seems like maybe a good point to uh, wrap it up here for uh, this episode. I'm going to throw some hired workers on plow in that field there. And then hopefully by next episode, once the field's plowed, That'll maybe give a little bit better field boundary for course play. I've seen that before where course play will not detect the field. Go plow the field, cultivate it, something like that, work the field up, and then course play will usually detect the field then. Uh, if not, I'm in worst case scenario, I have to drive all the way around the edge of the field, which does not sound like any fun at all, because keep in mind this is a 16x map and this field is huge. So Randy doesn't want to have to drive around it if you don't have to. Uh, but worst case, that's what we'll have to do. So. Like I said, everyone, um, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. Hope you folks are uh, looking forward to the uh, new map here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're all going to do on here yet, but uh, it's going to be big, real, real big. So, again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.